She's calling it the most comprehensive legislation we've seen in decades when it comes to tribal health care reform. South Dakota Representative Christy Noam has toured several Indian Health Service hospitals, educating herself on the problems with IHS to draft her new legislation. And her latest journey brings her to Pine Ridge. Black Hills Fox reporter Heather Jansen caught up with her there earlier this morning. It shouldn't be any different in Pine Ridge or Rosebud than it is in Sioux Falls or Rapid City. There's been concern for months on how Indian Health Services treats their patients, but here at Pine Ridge Hospital, officials are saying it's ranked among some of the worst. I just is saying, give us time communicate with you. But tribes on the Pine Ridge Reservation have spoken out, saying time is not on their side. Incorrect diagnoses leading to possible death, long travel times to get the care they need from other hospitals, overcrowded wait rooms, and understaffing at their nearest IHS hospital. I think there's short 86 different positions within this hospital. All problems that many say just can't wait. But Christy Nome is working on legislation to help. It's making IHS pay attention. With the helping ensure accountability, leadership, and transparency in Tribal Health Care Act. It would make uh, hiring individuals easier, incentivize uh, bringing them to Indian country to provide care. It's going to allow people to be demoted and fired. Account for monies that they hoard away on the side uh, for their bonuses and not give it to uh, health care of an individual. The Oglala Sioux Tribal President believes Nome's legislation will help IHS catch up to the rest of America. They're going to make them change their way they act and what they do and what their primary goal is, which is health care to that one Indian. Operating to serve and not just for themselves, the end goal for Nome, tribes, and Indian Health Services. For Black Hills Fox News, I'm Heather Jansen.